Oh, welcome back to the. <laughs> oh, welcome back to the. Yeah. Oh, welcome back to the poo. Oh, welcome back to the poo. Oh, welcome back to the poo poo. Oh, welcome back to the poo poo poo. Welcome back to the poo 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 poo. I'm going back to the Welcome back to the Welcome back to the Who Had Goon Podcast. Yeah! It's a Goon Podcast. That was a good one. That was long. Might be the longest drop ever. I felt like a robot. Possibly. I felt like a little robot. Pretty, pretty possible. Possibly long time. Oh. That shit was so, awesome. So, how the hell has everyone been? Ooh, yeah, very yes. good. I've been yes. Very I've good. been good. Drinking that G subs? Is that what I see there? Uh, yeah, immediate G subs plug. <laughs> hey, what you flavor so is that? This is your daddy's period That's blood. Grandpa's blood. Ooh. <laughs> Daddy period blood. This is strawberry memes or something. Yeah. This is uh, that time of the month by G subs. He- heavy flow day by G subs. <laughs> 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 oh shit. Yeah, use code guns. You're good goo. Absolutely. You'll do it. Gamers, you'll be doing it. So what have you guys been up to? I wasn't here last week. I was bullying. I don't remember dog dick about anything we talked about last week. Yeah, I don't remember either. Blark was- said the same exact thing. I asked him, I was like, how was last week's podcast? <laughs> he was like, I don't remember anything. Yeah, I also don't remember. I disassociated I'm gonna have hard. to. I'm going to have to actually watch that one and see what the fuck you guys were talking about. Yeah. Where were you last week? I was. That sounded very in- interrogative. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Where were you last week? Where were you on Wednesday at 1? I was at Arby's. I was at Arby's. You spent a week at Arby's? Let's fucking yeah. go. In the freezer? I was in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. I was uh, worming in the in the local <laughs> oh, Arby's. Oh, for Ask Worm worming. Awareness Month? Yeah, I was worming. Nice. Is that like you uh, were doing the worm dance or you were like deworming the floor? Getting I was uh, I was deworming the meat and I was also doing the worm and I was also staying in there after hours in the freezer. So a little bit of every every uh, encompassing worming term. Yeah, all, right. all all the worm activity. That sounds like a, like all a weird sexual encompassed. activity, worming, like sounding, but worming. I think all sex is just kind of worming, unless you're lesbian. Yeah. yeah and then true. they do like the plastic worming, like the off-brand worming. <laughs> plastic worming. Silicone worming. <laughs> like, it's like fishing. Being a lesbian is kind of like fishing. You got that plastic worming going on. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I took last week off. I just, I needed some time to to chill. That sounds nice. Oh, yeah, it was just like a like a mental health break or something. Uh, I mean, just a just a break. Huh. Everybody yeah. needs time off. Yeah, I've done that before. It helps a lot. I have a tendency to never do that, and it uh, makes me burned out often. Yeah, yeah I, I I reached a point where I was just like, all right, I just need a week to to chill and not really like no focus recording, on, just fucking just think about numbers, recordings, edits, yeah. and yeah, yeah. I like I was off my phone a lot last week. Barely got nice. on it. It was nice. It's nice, chill. Yeah. I did that, I remember, yeah. last year, I think, in March, maybe? Maybe the year before. I took, like, a month-long, like, mental health break, and it actually helped a lot. So I was getting, like, yeah, burned out on to, YouTube. To I feel like if I took too long, though, I'd start itching like a crackhead who didn't have their crack. Yeah, I feel scared. like a month was a little too long. I think during that month, I recorded a couple times, but for the most part... Like, a I'm, week is the sweet spot. Every time I yeah. felt the tendency to like pick up my phone or or check on YouTube or anything or Twitter, I was just like, "Don't do it, don't do it, That's good. don't do not, it, not." That's healthy. Yeah, it was uh, it was nice. Yeah. Which I just I don't know I, I've grown to sort of hate social media a little bit. I just don't I don't like checking Twitter. I don't really get on Instagram anymore, which is bad because it's my fucking job. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Being that on is social media. That is an area of my job I've always been dick at. I mean, it's obvious I don't tweet very much, but yeah. I like even before I had this like just like a personal Facebook in high school or whatever. I never really posted on there either. I've just right. never like put out much on social media. I I'm the opposite. I don't know why I'm always just on Twitter doing shit. I like to know like what's going on in the community and stuff. I consume. I just don't like put a bunch out. Oh like, yeah. Be like, oh, let me just tweet some random shit. Oh, but I'm a little. 
Yeah, I just feel like everyone on Twitter is angry, so I just kind of stay off of there. I just yeah. look at memes and stuff. I'm, yep, same. I, I don't want any anger in my life. I want peace and zen. zen. And memes. <laughs> <laughs> little, oh, my God. <laughs> I knew that. A little plug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got goons at zen. <laughs> That'll be the fucking That'd day. Be a That'll be sponsor. the day. <laughs> yeah, dude, I had so much shit going on in my house that I was like, I can't keep up with what's going on in my house. Well, I mean, I I kept up with everything, but I was like having to keep up with house stuff and jam in recording sessions and everything. I was like, I, I just need I need a week away. Yeah, yeah. I had a I had a little bit of a plumbing issue. Cause I, I shit all in the sink, dude. I just shit it everywhere in the sink. Shit in the bad. sink? Mm. It was bad, dude. Oh, there was shit in the. I thought you said you shit in the sink. Yeah, dude. I was doing whippets until like three a.m. and I just shit all in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever pissed in the sink before? Oh yeah. No. There's a whole oh, subreddit yeah. dedicated to that. R slash sink pissers. Dude, I've, I've I know I've said it before, but I've pissed in the drywall of a bathroom before. Left my DNA in there. One time, I think I pissed in I the concrete of a story. house that was getting built in my neighborhood. Like the mm. wet cement? Yeah. Like, I just pissed all in it after they're, the they're, construction workers left. They walk on your DNA every day. Yeah. It's fucking You're going to, like, have to, like, <laughs> fucking dig up the foundation of the home. My piss DNA is going to be all in the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> it would be sweet to, like, lodge just a solid log in some cement somewhere and just be like, yeah, I shit in your house, literally in your house. <laughs> yeah, I had a, a plumbing issue. I had like the this pipe that was coming into my, my house started leaking like out, down the wall mm. and I, I called a plumber and he came over and he was like, oh shit, this isn't good. Like he was thinking that he was going to have to break into the wall of my house to like fix this, this oh. leaking pipe. Yeah. And... That was like right after I got, I finally got my roof fixed and my gutters were messing up. So I had to get my gutters done, which was pretty sick. The gutter people like flew a drone around my house. They didn't even go up on the, in the gutters. They just fucking flew a drone. Damn. I was like, what the hell is this Future cyborg, shit. cyberpunk shit? I love the term gutter people. <laughs> Sounds like, like just a, like a homeless person. Like, like some homeless term. dude showed up with a drone <laughs> yeah. and started flying it around your property. <laughs> Out, the, the gutter people are here. It was pretty cool. The dude, the plumber. Luckily, he didn't have to break the wall to my home to fix the issue. Yeah, that would like be AIDS. Yeah, he figured out a way to fix it without having to like break into the wall. And he uh he noticed that I had a certain type of gun <laughs> in my home <laughs> that uh -huh. he he was interested in purchasing. Oh and really? So, uh, yeah, he was like, dude, I knew this guy was about to fuck shit up like in a good way because he uh he showed up to my house wearing uh a PFG hat and pit vipers. And I was oh, like, yeah. okay, this is the guy okay. that yeah. I won't break. They sent out their finest. Yeah. This is the guy I won't break in walls and tightening pipes around my home right here. <laughs> as soon as I saw the pit vipers, I was like, okay, this guy's a professional. Yeah, <laughs> Good to go. You tell me what you need to do, sir. But I, I let him, I let the plumber, uh, shoot my gun in my yard a couple times. Things That's Peach might've said at some point. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that would be a pretty interesting story to sh uh, share with y'all since I was away. Wait, am I am I having deja vu moments, or is this the second person who has shot a gun with you that came over to service your house? Uh, I mean, not that I'm aware of, but I've probably told you the story off the podcast. Oh, okay. Yeah, I probably told you a little while ago before we did this, but I wanted mm -hmm. to, to say it on the podcast as well. Okay, I, okay, my bad, because I thought, I thought this was just like a custom now, like... Like a Jehovah's Witness knocks on your door or something. You're just like, hey, you want to shoot some shit with me in the yard? Like, <laughs> just, I don't believe in like Jesus, but I got guns. You want to shoot them? <laughs> Hand them a missile. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tell God to protect you from this one. <clears throat> oh, my Lord. But I thought that was pretty awesome. I let a plumber shoot a gun in my yard. Yeah, that's badass. It was pretty mm -hmm. dope, yeah. Do you have, like, a hill you shoot? Like, a target? Like, where do you... Oh, we usually, uh, we usually aim at the neighbor's dogs. <laughs> They're just yeah. running around in the yard, and we just aim at those. A little target, a little free target practice. Free. How thoughtful of them to give you free targets. Yeah. I know, dude. They, they keep around. buying more dogs. I'm like, dude, I'm going to shoot all of them. They're so the nice. Fuck? Yeah. When will they learn? <laughs> that's badass, though. Yeah, dude. That's That's what I've been doing for the past week. <laughs> 
<laughs> shooting guns with plumbers and shit. Shooting guns with plumbers and chilling. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Bro, yeah, that's about have it, you all uh, have you all been reading about this Titan yeah. submersible shit? Oh, yeah. They're like dead now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they uh, they're pretty positive it imploded. Yeah, I, I heard about that, that this morning. Ago. Yeah, because like, they yeah, found like a blew up. They found like a piece of the hull or some shit. The back end of oh, it, I think end, they, yeah. they think they found it, which means that's actually the best way they could have died. As as like horrible oh, yeah. as that sounds, it but like instant. it's like less than twenty milliseconds or something for it to implode and for them to die. Yeah, and apparently the implosion would make the heat like the surface of the sun or some some shit like that. Yeah, the heat, from which how is fast which is like the... holy shit. That's I can't even yeah, imagine. I, dude, the first thing I thought when I saw the video of the inside of it and five people were sitting in there, yeah. I'm like, dude, where are these guys shitting and pissing? They have one box at the front with a Ziploc baggie in it that they're shitting in. Actually, is that it's true? A, <laughs> are you just yeah. saying that? No, no, no. These billionaires spent 250 grand to go in a tiny-ass little metal tube and have a tiny black box that's about this big that they're shitting in at the front. There's a little black curtain you pull. So how long of a trip would it have been down to the Titanic? Because it was like it's eight extremely hours. far down. Eight hours. <clears throat> yeah, because I remember so seeing eight it eight hours there and back, or eight hours there and eight there hours and back. back. So okay. Oh no, eight hours That's there not... and eight hours back. Because they said like at the seven hour point, even if they did find them, they would still die because it would take eight hours for them to get them up to the surface. Right. That would have ran out of oxygen or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But, but it sounds like that's not wasn't how they even a probably thing, yeah. died at this point. Yeah, because this whole time I was thinking, like, holy shit, I'm sitting here, like, jerking off, stroking my butthole, and there's du- five dudes underneath the ocean trapped in a little metal can. Yeah. Like, they would love to swap places with me. They would trade all their money and everything to be me. Yeah. Or anyone. Homeless dude in L.A. It's a crazy thought. Yeah, I feel like they definitely knew that they were going to – there was a high likelihood of them dying doing that. Like the, all the safety precautions were just. I don't think just any of them knew that. Honestly, I think only the owner knew that. Well, well, that's, he I, fired I mean, the person that kept like bugging him about safety precautions. This is what they were controlling the whole shit with, too. Like, not even that. Like not even this. Like an old ass, outdated controller. Yeah, <laughs> Logitech, thing, something or other. Yeah, I mean, that in of itself is probably fine, but it's just like. You could take that thing and you could put me in it on my front lawn and I would still be shitting my brains out because you can't get out unless somebody lets you out. Yeah. You're bolted in unless someone lets you out from the outside. I'd be shitting my dick off sideways. For so fun. even if they would have made it to the surface or something, the oxygen still would have ran out, right? Because they were just bolted in there. Was it? Like, I'm, I'm assuming it's like vacuum sealed, obviously. Yeah. So it's bolted yeah. in from the outside. So like even once they would, let's say they got them in time, they didn't implode. They still have to get them somewhere and let them out. So, yeah, yeah, I would, I, I would never get in a submarine for anything. Yeah, yep. I don't even, I don't even want to go on like a cruise or anything. I fucking hate the ocean. No, nah. I, nah. I, I have no desire to go on a cruise either. I like. You guys it. ever been on one? No, no. Ugh. I've been on yeah, boats and harbors and like lakes and shit, but not like a cruise where you're gone for a week out yeah. on the ocean or some shit. No. I, there's a yeah, recent video of like a cr- people on a cruise, and there's like this fucking crazy storm going on. And it's like flinging furniture and shit around everywhere. Even then, I'm like, no, fuck that, dude. Did you hear about that dude that jumped off a cruise for fun because of a yeah. dare, and then he just died? He got eaten by sharks. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I've been hearing they, they, about they a lot of like, like ocean tragedies lately. It was literally like a, you won't jump off this boat. And the guy's like, fuck you, and he just did it. And yeah, he died. He was probably hammered. Probably. Yeah, I feel like you have to be hammered. And then there was that video of that up. guy getting eaten by a shark that it was on everybody's fucking Twitter for you yeah. tab for a while. I didn't see that, thank God. I don't like watching shit like that. Was, that. I, I think that was during that. the week you were actively avoiding Twitter, so it was probably for the best. <laughs> you chose a good week yeah. to leave. <laughs> I, I actively avoid Twitter every day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, Speaking of, I got a post on Twitter right now. Oh, oh. yeah. So your video hypocrite. Online. Look hypocrite at me being live. a hypocrite. Live I'm a liar. I'm a liar. I guess for people who don't know, though, that's that submersible thing. It was people going down to look at the Titanic. I'm sure everybody's heard about this by now. But yeah, it's kind of like become national news, like international news. In case you live in a cave in Iraq or something and you're listening to us. Yeah, this is going to be old news by the time the podcast gets yeah, really? uploaded. That is true. They'll probably know exactly what happened by the time this goes out. Yeah. This will be outdated info. Well, I feel like finding a chunk of the of the thing is pretty much confirmation that it exploded or imploded. Most likely, yeah. 
or either that or or maybe something down there like ripped them apart. Ooh, pancakes. Ooh. Well, I saw people saying like they they heard the banging and people are like, "What the fuck was the banging that they heard?" You know, true because like, it was every that, thirty you know? minutes, which seems very human, but. It was Davy oh, Jones did you see the banging edit? in his locker? Did you see the yes. edit of that? And it was like the, <clears throat> it was like uh, unreleased audio of the thing, and it was like banging. And then it goes, "Open the door." Yeah, <laughs> open the door. <laughs> oh, Dude, people are so quick the with memes. Oh, there's so tragedy. many memes. Twitter already. is ruthless. Oh man. Yeah, I'm, as soon as I heard about all the ti- or Titan sub shit, it was just like stacks of memes mm-hmm. underneath it. I was like, Jesus. I keep, <laughs> I keep seeing the Squidward one where he's like eating the other people and it's like when you get rescued 30 minutes too early or too late <laughs> or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I would shit. I would do like snorkeling. I, I was supposed to take like a, a scuba diving class with one of my buddies, but even that just like, oh, fuck, dude. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. Something about like drowning is one of my biggest fears. I know they say it's Same. one of the most peaceful ways to go, but. Huh? I How? That. That's that's what they say, right? It's like a very peaceful way to go. I would think falling, like going to bed and not waking up would be peaceful. <laughs> yeah. Well, apparently not when you drown, you like almost water. fall asleep or something, and you get very numb. I guess you just kind of pass yeah. out, but in a very painful way. But but you know you're about yeah. to eat shit, though. I always I mean, heard would that, you rather uh, get lit on fire? No. If, yeah. That apparently like is the be, most yeah. pain a human can feel. Being lit on fire. Yeah, just melting your whole body, melting yeah. off yeah. your bones. It's like twice as painful as like birth. Checkmate, women. Yeah, get lit on fire, women. See what pain is really. What like. about what if you were giving birth and then you got lit on fire? <laughs> how, how painful I don't, forget all about I don't think that, that there's that like multipliers. I don't think it just like adds <laughs> on top of each other. It stacks. We added fire damage to your pregnancy. <laughs> You're drowning while lit on fire and giving birth at the same time. Yeah, you're in like an oil fire, so you're like burning underwater. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Like, I, I think I would do like snorkeling or something. But even still, I don't. Uh, yeah, something about like, being, I would being have underwater. to do that in like, you know how like there's areas of Hawaii where the water is like perfectly clear? You can see yeah. everything. I feel like that's like what I would do, but like. Going out in the blue ass dark ocean, fuck all that noise. Like those dudes that go down in the water in a cage and they like pet sharks. Yeah, fuck that. Hell no, bro. People I feel just... like it would be scarier if it was clear water, because you know, you would see in the distance a big like black figure slowly approaching, and as as, as it's getting closer, you just see a massive shark head coming right at you, like oh. As opposed Ooh, to it yeah. coming out of nowhere and, oops, my arm's gone. Yeah. I, I, I would rather, rather it come out of see. nowhere and instead of me looking it dead in the face and it's just slowly coming at me. You, can, you, you have the chance like to punch away. it, though. You can, you can, like, punch a shark in the head and they will, like, instantly It stuns the shit out of them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and when you're, like, 300 feet underwater and you're punching, like... <laughs> right. Yeah, you're going to hurt that shark <laughs> a lot. That's you got to take a <laughs> big old hammer. Take a just spear gun with you is what you do. Yeah, really. you take a spear gun. That shark's coming at you. Just doof, right in his fucking noggin. <laughs> <laughs> you chop its fin off. Yeah. And you hump it. Hump it to death. I think Chinese True. How has that. anyone ever gotten eaten by a shark? It's easy. Hump. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hump shark. Oof. What's the most daredevil thing you guys would realistically do? Like, would you, McNasty, would you go spelunking? Probably blow a Dude. load in a stripper. Okay, that's pretty daredevil. <laughs> no, dude. Do For me, that's going in a daredevil. cave is 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 on par with this this bottom of the ocean thing. Cause like, I I've gone down those rabbit holes where I watch the, the things that people do and they like squeeze their bodies into crevices. Oh like, yeah. Oh, oh my god, yeah, no, bro, no, bro. Yeah. That sh- those people are insane. Yeah, fuck all they'll that. get to like yeah. areas and they'll have to like push the air out of their lungs just to squeeze through it. They don't even know what's on the other side of this shit. Yeah. They have no they have no clue. They're insane, Some of bro. them have maps. Some of them actually do know sort of what's coming. Yeah, or they've done it, or they've done what other people have successfully done. Right. Right. Like they want to experience it for themselves. But there are there are times where they're they're vlogging the thing and they're just like, "Well, I hope there's space on the other side of this." <laughs> <laughs> they're insane, bro. Yeah, I, I get the uh, the sense yeah. of adventure, but. I, I feel like I would only enjoy that if I was finding like buried treasure at the end yeah. of the cave or it's something. Not just you know like, how, I mean? like there's gotta be gotta be a goal. How tight <laughs> yeah. of a hole can I fit in? Like that's hmm. that's every man ever, but 
I think the scariest uh, one I saw was they went into a cave. I wish I remembered the name of it. It was a video I watched probably like a Titty Kaka probably. Like a, yeah, Titty Kaka Cave. It was like a tiny hole mm. on the surface of the earth. But it was a massive cave system and it started raining outside and so all the water from outside started rushing into this hole. And so they were pretty far down and they were trying to get back up out of the cave, but it was like almost like a whirlpool of water yeah. coming into the cave from the, the rain oh, outside. Yeah. That dude, that video is insane. I'll have to find that link that you guys so y'all can watch it. It's fucking wild. Do you remember that team that soccer team of like Asian kids that got stuck in a cave? Remember that uh, shit? Mm-mm. Yeah, like, like an episode Elon, of Magic School Bus or something. Eli, <laughs> it kind of sounds like it. No, like the soccer team, this coach like used to just take kids into caves after their practice for fun and memes. No and red they got flag st- there at all. Same. Yeah, no red flag. And, and and they went in the cave. It started water came rushing in. They got trapped. And so like this was like huge news. Like Elon Musk was trying to make a tube. To go in and save them and stuff, and like one diver died, and they wound up saving all of them. Huh. But like some dude died trying to save them because this coach just like I'll take my kids in a cave for fun. Yeah, that's crazy. Fuck that shit, man. Yep. Oh, I don't know. The most daredevil thing I would do, I would probably go into space. I feel like going up into Earth's <laughs> orbit would be fun, but I think that's about it. I hope Ugh. the company you go with is not SpaceGate. <laughs> SpaceGate. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I would, do I would that. 100% that would do that, cool. but I wouldn't, yeah. That, I, guess I wouldn't that, go in no caves or go down to the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, though. no, I'm not doing that. Hell no. If I'm going to go. Colgate been real quiet lately. If I'm going to go up or down, Colgate. definitely going up. I would just love to see, like, Earth. Like, I feel like that's such a crazy experience. Would yeah. you guys rather go into space, go in a cave, or hike, what do you call it? Like, hike through, uh, like, snow and ice and shit. Space. Probably space. space. I'm a sp- I'm a huge yeah. space nerd, so I also don't like snow or caves. Okay, space is out of the question. You got to stay on planet Earth. Would you rather go hiking in a yeah. hiking in the snow? Yeah, like As we don't know. I mean, it would going suck. Into caves. Yeah, going into caves. Am I fully like equipped to hike in the snow? Do I have like my my tennis shoes? Yeah, racket no, you're fully equipped. And- you're fully equipped to do either of them. You're okay. not like just going there fucking butt ass yeah. naked, figure it out. <laughs> well, I have to think about I'm a big guy, so going in a little tiny cave is not. not. But it's proportional. Like that it's just oh, bigger. Okay. Like it's the same squeeze for me as it would be for you. Okay. Still I would hike in snow. Proportional squeeze moment. Yes. I would still hike. No, I think I'd still hike. I you'd have to you'd have to I don't think there's an amount of money. That you could offer me to. You go would have to tell me you either go in a cave and squeeze in a hole, or you fucking die. And I would at least attempt to go in the cave and squeeze in a hole. Well, the ones I've seen of like the horror stories of people. Uh, what's the fucking? Na- I can't think of the name of. It. I guess it's like spelunking? hiking. Oh. No, not spelunking. Like uh, cave dwelling. I guess like rock climbing in the snow and stuff with ice picks and all that. I don't know the fucking. I can't think of the name of it right uh, now. Spelunking. But <clears throat> there was one. Yeah, spelunking on a wall of ice. <laughs> There was one that I saw that they were like walking over the snow and they didn't realize that the snow was just covering this crater pretty much and they fell into a snow cave. Like they oh, fell I saw all the- that. Oh, yeah, yeah like- I did see that, yeah. That shit was so scary. And he so, like barely yeah. catches himself like right before going like super far down. Yeah, I think his friend died and he had to like carry his friend on his back while he was like trying to climb up oh, the wait, walls. Oh, wait, maybe I'm thinking of something else. I, I think McNasty, you and I saw a different video. Yeah. Well, he's but- like skiing and then he hit- and then he lands in like a... Right, and you could see like this bottomless abyss underneath him. Yeah, but yeah, what, I think what, what, if I was in like an avalanche one time, and I, you know, I got buried in snow where they could barely see me, and they just got me out in a moment's notice, I, I think that would be like, ain't no more for me. Time no to more. move to Florida. You know Pick what they say? Uh, a, a good little trick, I guess, if you're in a, or in an avalanche, is to spit, and then de- like, depending on how where the spit goes, like that's like. You, you base the gravity off of your spit. So if you spit and your spit just goes straight down, that means you're, like, upside down. And to go up and to, like, try and scoop yourself out. Because that's the thing. If you're in the middle of an avalanche, you don't know which way is up. You could try well, and dig like yourself. I feel like if you're buried in snow all the way covering your body, it'd be kind of hard to spit. Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, you could, I like. I guess if you drool and then it leaks up your nose or leaks down your chin, that should tell you something, I guess. I think you're going to be drooling a lot and it's going to be instantly freezing. 
<laughs> and you're going to be panicking as, <laughs> as your most brain ever panic. turning to sludge. It's just like, it's just and you're little... not going to be able to move whatsoever. You're just trapped in snow. Like well, this. you can like, stop. <gasps> You'll still be able to like scoop snow out because snow is like you know it's kind of fairly light. Depends on how many pounds of snow on you, Dick. I guess. Yeah, it depends yeah, on how like, much you get packed down. Yeah, if you're like 50 feet down, you're pretty much dead. But, I mean, it's just, it's like one of the little tip I've ever seen somewhere, and I was like, yeah. Oh. But I don't ever put myself in a situation to be avalanched, so. I would start pissing myself and That's, grabbing the piss snow. I would just, just jerk off, it. get one more out before I die. <laughs> get one more out of me. <laughs> Pissing's actually big brain because you can warm yourself up that way. Just piss yeah. your pants. Let Pissing it leak all over Pissing and throwing up everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And shitting. And shitting is a good, yep. That's just your first instinct. Just, just, it, it, just get rid of all fluids because it's warm. Yeah. I hate shit like this. We're probably triggering like <laughs> oh, several no. humans. Oh, man. Yeah. So would you guys go in a submarine now, ever, for anything? No, Even no. if you weren't going that deep? Nope. No, I don't think so, <laughs> don't, bro. I'm not a huge... Like, I love the ocean in the in the terms of like like the mysteriousness and like what's down there and it's like oh cool but like actually being in the ocean like that no fuck that yeah having to pay two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to do something like that yeah really <laughs> i'm about to put for that on a hours? down payment on a house <laughs> like for for eight hours what the fuck <laughs> to go no see thanks. a graveyard yeah no thanks yeah i like the one of my some of my favorite memes about that are like the the titanic ghosts Claiming new victims, getting new souls or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I remember seeing one that said, like, it was a, you know that E2 guy? E2, uh, he's laughing. Oh, yeah. And it yeah. was, like, that meme over, the, like, the pearly gates of heaven. It was, like, trying to explain to God that you died on the Titanic that sank 100 years ago. <laughs> yeah. I like the ones where it's like the, <laughs> oh, yeah. the, titan- the rusty Titanic over LeBron's head, and it's like, I got five more in me. <laughs> It's like the Titanic back for its 111th I season. I have not seen that, but that's funny. <laughs> that's pretty funny. So fucked. Yeah. Yeah. I feel the worst for the kid on there. Yeah, he was 19 like 19 or something. Old. Yeah, that's Just fucked. trusted yeah, his dad. So he was like, it'll be fine. Trust. And then just... Well, I mean... Yeah, and then they implode. implode. It did suck, but it's like at least they just... Boom! It's just it was instant. Like, they didn't even... Yeah, it w- it's a lot less, I mean, it's still depressing, but, like, the thought of them down there, like, suffocating and, like, getting hypothermia yeah. was more depressing than just, Foof! Yeah, just becoming a meatball. Yeah. Why wouldn't they just send a submarine down there with nobody on it? Because don't they control the submarine or whatever? Well, that's, like, the that's the like the base? fourth or fifth time they've done that. Yeah. Well, they've done it well, right. I know. I know they've I know they've done it before, but. I just I, f- I feel like if you wanted footage of the Titanic, because the fucking hole that they're all looking at it through is like what this big around, thing, yeah. like Dude, the tiniest little window. If you want to scam some billionaires, like I guess before this happened, because now who wants to do it? But like <laughs> I would just like get the submarine, I'd get a little screen on there, and I would just run some footage of a little drone down there and I'd <laughs> submerge it a little bit. I'd rock it around, and be like, ooh. We're going deeper. Ooh, murky waters. And then and we're actually only like 10 feet under the surface. It's just a replay buffer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't even send it under the ocean. And yeah. then, oh, yeah, okay, I just made a million bucks. Easy. That's what I would do. Because like, yeah, the screen is idea. so small, you could easily just scam them. That's not a bad idea. Yep. I feel like as a kid, I always wanted to go in a volcano. Yeah. That would be cool. An active now, or a or a, a non active? I don't know, dude. I want to see lava. Lava's cool. I think lava is cooler than water. It's Which so weird. Is, what what is, what is lava? Lava is technically what molten rock. It's kind of like a liquid. Hot earth. Hot I, earth. If moment. you were to like jump into lava, you would just like it would be like you jumping explode. on concrete. You wouldn't oh. even you wouldn't even make it to the lava. You would just disintegrate before you even got close to it. Yeah, you probably you probably burn up, but. I, th- I no, think you, you explode. Would. Like people, I've heard people say that like if you throw an organ, like your liver, onto hot lava, it just. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that's what happened to you, since you're mostly water. Yeah, that's fucking wicked. Yep. So these, so these things of like Gollum, like s- sinking into the lava. No, Gollum would have just exploded immediately. Are you trying to tell me that the Lord oh. of the Rings isn't a true story? Mm, there, there might be a little bit of fantasy there. <laughs> you think there's some fiction involved in Lord of the Rings? <laughs> <laughs> to break your immersion. God damn it, dude. Sorry, I thought those man. fucking eagles were real, bro. <laughs> huh. How do you guys feel about all the uh, like the UFO like videos that have been surfacing a lot lately? I haven't really seen them. Oh, dude, I get them on TikTok so much, and they're all like 
they're all believable it's, it's fucking crazy i mean some of them were just like okay so you're just it's just the fucking spacex launch I'm like oh my god it's a portal to another world but there are some where it's like <laughs> literally like this ball floating in like space and then it just fucking takes off yeah just crazy i don't know it's weird maybe a dog's chasing it maybe it's like a rich person's ball for their dog and they're just like ooh, it's gonna go this way they're like remote control ball it. drone yeah ball drone <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know man i don't i don't i don't know how i feel about ufos and all that i just feel like if aliens existed they wouldn't fucking come anywhere near our stupid monkey brain asses you know you never yeah. know i mean they they could be just like a nearby um they could be on a nearby planet that we just don't we're not able to see like they could not even be carbon based it could just be like are they coming here to like shop or something i don't know i i mean i feel shop like for our brains i feel like if they're real they've been here for a long time and they've had plenty of opportunity to fuck with us i just think they're more like if they are real then they're more interested about like our technology what we got going on our advancements well if yeah. they're like meanwhile way they can beyond. have ships that can go like the speed of sound or speed of light i mean like imagine being able to go the speed of sound that's crazy <laughs> holy shit uh, eat my ass <laughs> i wonder they can, though they if, can go if, like triple times the speed of light and they're like oh they got a new walmart they're building <laughs> <laughs> i don't even care about that <laughs> <laughs> we but, need to make a walmart report back to mother homeland but it's just I saw like, a video the other day of like ufos this guy said that something like ufos they they they'll spot them in like big tornadoes because they use tornadoes to to harvest energy. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. A lot of crazy shit. Yeah. I feel like they'd be so far advanced past us that they probably would just like not mess with us because it'd be like God coming back, the equivalent of. Right. It's like you imagine you go back in time and you hand like uh, Isaac Newton an iPhone, probably worship you on the spot. Yeah. Yeah, true. I don't know. He would probably so, have no idea what the fuck you handed him. Maybe like, they, maybe the f- maybe the Earth has a resource that they don't have, and they come here to get it. But they don't want to like, like 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 what? Um, come, like shit. Zins. <laughs> yeah, they're coming to get their nicotine fix. <laughs> yeah, they don't have nicotine on their planet. They don't know how to make it. They don't have pouches. <laughs> <laughs> Just redneck aliens, <laughs> still in dip. <laughs> I can get down with that. <laughs> Come abduct me. Put a probe. Put a put a Zen probe in my bushy. All... You just get all fucking nicked out. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Soup, did you watch Nintendo Direct? Oh, dude. Of course I watched it. What do you think? Well, I about didn't actually watch the premiere, but I watched like different the videos highlights and... or whatever. Yeah. What do you think about Elefante Mario? I'm Oh super, yeah, I saw that. I thought that was fake super when I first saw excited. it. No, that can't be faked. That looked funny. I'm, I am so excited. I'm ready for a new uh, 2D Mario game. The past 2D yeah. Mario games have been, like, very regurgitated. Yeah. And this this looks like a new like new art style, new uh, ideas. So I'm all down for it. Yeah. I'm I'm excited about the remaster of RPG. Oh, dude. Because that game yeah. fucks. I I don't know how many people know that that game even exists, but that game is really good. Yeah, very, I remember very, very as excited for that. As a kid, when I first found out about Super Mario RPG, I was like, I, I thought I had just discovered like gold. You yeah. know what I mean? I was like, what a is turn-based this? combat Mario game. Like, that's yeah, so, which I, so weird. I had played turn-based uh, combat Mario games, like on the DS and stuff, like the uh, and Paper Mario and all that. Yeah, like the Mario and Luigi series and Paper Mario, and I, I always loved them. I thought they were, they always felt more like the like cult classic sort of mario games in a way that not the majority of people were playing yeah and so I, I really really loved them and when i found out about super mario rpg i was like oh shit there's another one i haven't played and it's like old school you know retro on the super nintendo yeah so, buddy yeah i'm super excited for the remaster that's gonna be badass I'm and i'm sure they're gonna add more stuff to it and everything you know, yeah i hope it's bonuses. not just a one-to-one remaster i hope they they add some shit to it yeah, I'm sure they I'm will. surprised they never made a Mario RPG 2. I mean, maybe that game's not as popular with people. I don't know if how underground that game is. I don't hear a lot of people talk about it, but I would love like a sequel or something. Well, Paper Mario was kind of like the sequel to uh I think Paper Mario was called like in Japan it was called like Super Mario RPG Paper Mario or something like that. Uh, let, me, let me look that up. I never played Paper Mario, so I don't know anything about it really. 
Japan title. Dude, have you played the, the new Zelda game yet? Oh, I played the shit out of it. Oh, really? Was it good? I haven't beat it yet because I've been like almost like 100%ing it. I've been taking my sweet time with it, but mm -hmm. oh, it's so good, dude. It's so good. Best Zelda game ever, probably. Really? The only, the only thing that beats it would be Ocarina of Time just because of, like, I guess, nostalgia. nostalgia but, yeah. like, I think objectively it's probably one of the best Zelda games. Like, if you never played Ocarina of Time and you played that and then the new one, you would definitely choose the new one? Like, without the yeah, nostalgia I, Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's, it's pretty fucking good. The story is actually pretty good, too. That's how I feel about, like, GTA. Like, I, I have so much nostalgia for, like, San Andreas. And I always feel like San Andreas is going to be my favorite GTA, even though objectively GTA Five is a lot is a lot better. Right. Yeah. It's it's kind of like that. It's like, I guess Ocarina of Time was so groundbreaking that you have to give it credit for that too, because like no yeah. other game like that and Super Mario sixty four were the only games really doing that kind of a thing. But yeah, that's the thing. Well, gaming now is just so oversaturated that there's not anything coming out that's groundbreaking. 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 <laughs> hmm. Breaks your ass open. <laughs> I was wrong, by the way, about the Japanese title. It was called Mario Story. Uh, but uh -huh. Paper Mario w was like the, the second RPG installment. Right. It's, it's actually really good. If you have the Switch, you can if you, you have Switch Online, you can play it on there. They got all the like, old retro games and shit? Yeah, you can, you can play uh, Paper Mario. But what, like, Nintendo sort of strayed from their, like, what made those games really, like, magical for Super like big Nintendo fans or whatever because with uh with Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door that game was like cream of the crop fucking perfection yeah for uh people that like the RPG games cuz it, it had so much like sort of dark lore for Nintendo and like yeah. really unique characters and all that kind of stuff and then the one on the Wii uh it was called Super Paper Mario and it was like a 2D style game more like uh it was more like a, uh, I guess like a classic Mario game, and then uh, you could shift to 3D or whatever, but it it just it didn't really have much charm. Like the characters weren't as unique and everything. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to play the uh, the first Super Mario sometime or Paper Mario. I mean, Mario Mario Story is a lame ass title for that. Paper Mario yeah, I don't know why they call it that that in Japan. Also, give me one second. I'll be right back. All right. All right. What? Uh, oh, he's just he's going dark. Holy shit! Zero dark thirty. What are you just what like, you doing with? Huh? What you doing with music memes these days? Oh, uh, new did, song you, did you have a second song coming out, or did it already? Yeah, it already came out last last uh, last Thursday. Oh, a week ago. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to promote it on my uh, on my main channel yet, though. Like in a video. Yeah. I need to post. Um, I have our last uh, zombie session. I need to post. But yeah, it turned out really good. I um I did the whole music video myself. Yeah, have you had a chance to watch it or no? I haven't seen no, I haven't seen your second second release. I actually didn't somehow I, I missed this. I didn't even see you talking about it or tweeting about it or anything. Have you seen the new song yet, Soup? I've listened uh, to it. No, I'm pretty I sure haven't. you showed it to me. Uh, you should watch it after point, this. But... Yeah. Yeah, I like fully uh I guess directed the music video. Um it was mostly just uh recording Paxton singing and then uh andrew recorded his own guitar playing and then the drummer recorded his own thing and i kind of just like melded it together and i tried to make them all look like like the same like dark like i tried to make it all look the same because like the the raw footage was so like different between all three of them yeah so I was like, okay i need to make it very like uh, almost black and white but like not and uh yeah it turned out pretty good a lot of people i we i used like um like i stock footage I tried to find a lot of different pieces, and then I would, like, piece it together in the song to try and tell the story. And mm -hmm. from the couple of reaction videos I've seen, they understood it, which was good, because I was, like, a little bit nervous of, like, man, I hope they, like, I hope they get the story I'm trying to tell. But um, It's just, like, random couple holding hands, and then it's just a picnic, and then it's people bowling, and then it's, it's just a bunch of <laughs> yeah. random shit. Like, just butterfly <laughs> stock footage. <laughs> what do they all have in common? Butterfly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, but yeah, I get to see Andrew and Paxton on Monday. Oh yeah, yeah, he just we're, he just uh, left here this morning. We're playing a show with him Monday. Slack John, bro, Bad job ass. in Charleston. Yeah. Badass. Nice, nice. Yeah, Paxton. Yep. He fucking loves doing live stuff. I know. I'm excited to actually like hear him perform live. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. I'll send you some videos and stuff. Yeah, definitely. I'm, yeah, I'm I don't think to. I saw any videos from the from the last time he was there. I saw some pictures, but 
I didn't see any videos, but yeah, apparently he's like, he's just in love with doing that shit, which is good. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, playing good. live is uh, it's awesome. Yeah, I would like to experience that someday. May ten out of ten recommend. In a band. The only thing that sucks is we're playing at a at a bar on a Monday night, <laughs> so it's like Monday night uh, bar vibes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Be so, a little um, more casual, a little more low key. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be a chill, chill show. Which I mean, yeah. I like shows like that. It's gonna be fun regardless, but yeah. probably not a massive turnout, but still yeah. be pretty fun. A show is a show. A show, a show is, a, is show. a show. And then we have a show on Friday in Columbia, and then I think after that we're pretty much done for the rest of the year with shows. Really? Yep. Okay. Unless we have, unless we have like a really good opportunity come up, we're just gonna take the rest of the year to. Uh, Record our new music. Writing. Oh, make new music. Yeah, yeah. Yes, finish buddy. writing and re- record our album. Hell yeah! Yeah, we've been slowly piecing stuff together. So, about time to record that bitch. Hell yeah! Yeah, for sure. For sure. I'm Very excited. Exciting. I'm ready to go back to the studio, baby. I would love to be Let's like do. do stuff in a studio setting. Time passes so fast in the studio, dude. It's really? it's yep. unbelievable, but it's so much fun. Yeah, it's just, a good time. You'll go in there early, and it'll be like five p.m. It's like, oh shit! <laughs> just got like a fourth day. of one song done. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, I used to. Um, I have my old PC in my fucking dining room. That's where we record our vocal vocals. Nice. And then I just sit on Discord with Andrew, and he does all the magic. Oh, <clears throat> We've yeah. already started working on our next song too, which is pretty, pretty cool. I'd like to get. So you're just gonna do singles for a while. Uh, this will be the, th- the second song in the EP, and then the EP will be done. Er- so we have the third song, which is Death Calling. The first one, which is the new one, and then the second, because it's telling a story. It's a concept EP, so. Yeah. But the second song <sighs> is our next song. And then if we do we if we do that and then make one more song after we should have enough music to go live, because our songs nice. are long. Death Calling is like seven minutes. This new song is like eight and a half minutes plus a one and a half minute intro. So it's, that's how you know it's a metal song, dude. You gotta you gotta have it. You gotta have them big chunky metal songs, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. I just don't like like I hate when I go and listen to a new Deathcore Deathcore song and it's like two minutes and ten seconds. I'm like, dude, where'd the song go? Like. I don't know. It's just it's kind of like a little bit of a little bit of screaming and then just a breakdown and then it's over. Yeah. But I like the whole like, you know, like I said, I always said we took inspiration from Lorna Shore and they, you know, they have they'll have a repeating chorus, a repeating verse, you know, and then a, and then a bridge and then a breakdown and stuff. So it's a little bit longer. Our songs are a little bit longer than Lorna, but like, it's definitely more than just. It's you know, it's more than just like there's like I hate when I hear a song and there's no repeating parts. I feel like it's, if it just ends too fast. Like you're expecting to hear another yeah. b- chorus or another verse again and it's it's all a lot of modern like hits are like a lot of the hits of like just top 100 or just like two and a half minute songs done yeah short short as shit yeah i don't know i, I don't what, know what do you think's gonna happen with ai with music i don't know what's your thoughts on I, that? I think i think copyright law has to like they really have to like double, catch up double down on that like they copyright ha- like, law is already ancient as shit. Now AI's coming out too. Like yeah. they're gonna be shit in their pants. But they're but I think they have been because I remember there was a song with Drake and like like an AI song with Drake or something, and then it was put on Spotify, but they got like a DMCA and it was removed. So it, the the copyright laws are gonna have to. De- I feel like they are because if they don't, they're gonna be missing out on a lot of fucking money. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely gonna have to adjust, especially and the I, artists. Yeah, just to. Mainly to protect the artist, because yeah. imagine like you, imagine scary. so imagine like next month a slack jaw song comes out that you didn't write at all, and, and they're making like you. they're making like money off of it, like legit money. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's monkey mode. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my bananas, bitch. <laughs> yeah, that was just yeah, that shit. That shit brazy. That shit brazy. Yeah. How long are we going? Forty minutes. I gotta take a dump. I think you a big just poopy Didn't before you, this? You said you were having a shit attack before Yeah, I know. This. I'm having... Apparently. What'd you eat, boy? Honestly, I don't remember. I didn't really eat anything bad last night. Wow. I don't know if maybe what I ate was not good. Like, un, like not... Unseasoned hooker sick. breast? Yeah. Oh, you gotta be careful with those. 
You know what's funny? I've actually been like uh, having a couple of stripper parties here and there in the past month. Or oh so. yeah, yeah, pretty fun. Are you? Uh, who are you doing this with? Is it just you <laughs> and a bunch of strippers, or is it like no. uh, and just home alone and call up a bunch of women? Well, the first time was. So I, I went out. Uh, my sister had a grad party here not that long ago, like a month ago. It's always a good time to have strippers at your sister's graduation no, no. party. <laughs> so, like that night. Make I, the party about me. I get a bunch <laughs> of women strippers. <laughs> no. It's like, dun, 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 just bitches twerking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, but um, I, I went out that night. So, like, we had it with like a lot of family and stuff, and then a lot of people left. And then I ended up going out with like my cousin. My sister and her boyfriend, my dad, and then my uncle and his friend. And then my dad got way too fucking drunk. Like, he just got sloppy drunk. He was acting like a dumbass at the club. So my sister and her boyfriend took him home. And then it was just me, my cousin, uh, Bryce, the guy that you met, Soup, and yeah. um, and my uncle and his friend. And I don't know, we met, like, this group of girls we were hanging out with. And then we went to, like, a hookah bar after the club closed. And <clears throat> I don't know, it was just really, like, a ton of fun. Like, more fun than I've ever had going out. And it kind of, like, it kind of changed me. Like, <laughs> it's, like, weird, but, like, it. so before that night, like. He found I, God. Before. <laughs> <laughs> he reached Mecca. Before that <laughs> night, like, I I very rarely ever went out. Like, maybe, like, two, three times a year. And mm-hmm. anytime people would message me, like, hey, you want to go do something? I would just say no. And I, because I would just, I'm so comfortable doing what i'm doing right now well not podcasting but i'm just comfortable sitting here doing i'm nothing. actually wildly uncomfortable yeah. right now. <laughs> i want to leave right <laughs> now holy shit <laughs> uh, no but uh <clears throat> just like doing nothing all day long just sitting on my fucking computer watching youtube videos crime documentaries beating off eating food and then going to bed just doing nothing, like day after day after day life baby yeah and then after that night i kind of was just like you know what like i just turned 30 it's like six months ago and damn i basically spent my 20s doing that like just sitting doing nothing so you're going through a midlife crisis kind of yeah i would say like a more like a you're gonna live to 60 like a (laughs) like a two-fifths life crisis i guess (laughs) but it's more of just like um it's more of just realizing like man i don't want to i don't want to be on my deathbed someday and be like all I, I did I was sit inside yeah, and make videos I don't, and beat off. I don't have any memory, like fun memories of doing things. Yeah, so yeah. now I've just been like, anytime people have been hit, hitting me up, like, you want to go do something? I, I say, yeah. It's kind of like that movie, Yes Man. Have you seen that with Jim Carrey? Uh, I don't no. think so. No? Well, no. essentially the movie is about, like, Jim Carrey, and he's just like this guy, and he just says no to everything. Mm. And he goes to this, like, seminar that teaches people to say yes to life. And then he starts saying yes to like literally everything and his life just becomes so much better because he's, he's constantly being put in opportunities to like better himself and like meet new people and blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to that extreme. I still say no sometimes. Like if I'm you know extremely hungover, I'm not going to go to the fucking. Like, do you want some ketamine right now? McNasty? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to boo fentanyl with me, McNasty? You want to inject ketamine right now? Yeah. No. <laughs> you want to no, go but... eat hookers for fun? I've just been, uh, yeah, I've just been going and doing stuff. I mean, that's kind of why I really haven't been like, uh, like rec- around to record a lot because I've just been like busy doing shit. Well, the house, like the house hunting and stuff, has kind of been taking up my time. But yeah, you know, I've been uh, hung over <laughs> a few times, <laughs> fortunately. Nice. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I've just been, uh, just been kind of enjoying life. But um, that's good. Yeah, it's stripper good, parties. Buddy. Stripper parties are kind of like I don't know. I guess that was like the spark of this. This conversation, but he saw one <laughs> booby and he's like, "Damn, I gotta get out more, <laughs> more boobs." <laughs> this is crazy. I can pay for titty. <laughs> yeah. No, I feel that though. Like uh that was me during COVID time because I kind of yeah, you know, well, really it was stayed like everybody during and... COVID time, honestly. Yeah, I, I mean, was too afraid to go anywhere. But uh yeah, no, that shit was driving me insane. I lived the same day for like two and a half years straight. Yeah. Wake up, make video, go nowhere, go to bed. Yeah, it's rough. It's it is rough living that life. Yeah, it just it's I, bad I, for I feel like health, part man. of I feel like part of the job almost is going out and experiencing shit. Because I feel like you know you can tell stories or or make jokes based on what you've had going on. That is outside true. Of, yeah, like yeah. being here, you know. 
Yeah, I, you I kind of give yourself a little refresher. It's I, nice to to fuck off and do dumb shit every once in a while. Yeah, and the, th- yeah. the thing is too is like, especially with like this podcast, like I feel like I almost never really have anything to talk about in my day to day life. Like I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, oh dude, the other day, <laughs> <laughs> the other day I went and out, I went to my kitchen, I made a cup of coffee, dude, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. To, it's nice to get out and do dumb shit. I mean, it it's healthy. Yeah. It's healthy to fuck around, fuck around well, and find out sometime. We kind of we started this podcast pretty much during COVID, so yeah, kind of made it true. difficult to be like, "Hey, here's all these life experiences I've done in the past year or two. Yeah, but yeah, a lot of our biggest stories were mostly like you know, from the past. Past, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, um, I never want to get old and and regret not doing something. Like I, I like to to travel and go to different yeah. places and see different things and you know see different types of people and chat with random people it's just it yeah dude gives on- you a whole new perspective on on shit it's honestly cool. just meeting new people is something that like i've really really in- enjoyed doing lately like i've been going out and just like i mean i, I met this whole group of girls that are like that came Strippers over here no no no, like actual <laughs> that shake ass <laughs> well, for money. i met them because my cousin went to school with one of them and then they came over here and then we had the blast and I'm going to uh, invite them over in a couple weeks to have, like, a barbecue. Nice. Um, but just, like, yeah. just, I mean, even if it wasn't girls, even if it was just a group of, like, dudes, like, making friends with people, just, like, talking to other people, like, like listening to their experiences in life and, like, you know, like, getting interested in what's going on with them. I mean, there are some people I don't vibe with. Like, I've, you know, I've met some people at the club, and I'm just like, eh, like, you're not, you're not a terrible person, but I don't know if me and you are, like, on the same wavelength of stuff. And, you know, obviously I'm not going to invite them to my house if I feel like an off vibe about them, but it's just, um, yeah, it's like you said, just meeting new people is just interesting. Yeah. yeah. I, went, I went to like a, a barbecue with some mutual friends uh, like a year or so ago, and I didn't really know anybody there besides my friends that knew the people who was hosting the party. Yeah. And it was really nice to like hear people bitch about their job and stuff yeah. and like, listen to what their day-to-day is i was like this is nice like not hearing youtube talk from oh you know, that's another thing you know? yeah yeah yep. i um i used to be a little bit of a victim of that back then or not a victim i used to be a a contributor of that kind of vibe like i would sit in calls bitch about youtube numbers all this kind of talk nonsense. about numbers and numbers. that should just gets so tiring after all after a while it's just like ugh. but yeah yep. it's, and the cool thing too is like now that this is kind of the first time in my life where i feel extremely social and like i don't feel weird like going out and meeting new people i i realize how fun it is this is going to sound conceited as fuck <laughs> but i realize how fun it is talking about my job with other people because like once i bring that up they their faces just fucking light up and i love that i love being able yeah. to like have that conversation with people and like tell them what i do i don't have it or do you guys like if you meet a stranger and they tell you what what you do or they ask you what you do do you tell them you do youtube Depends on, on the, person. Uh, <laughs> the vibe I'm getting from the stranger. Yeah. Right. Because I, I was at, I told this before, but I was at, uh, I was playing blackjack like about a month ago and some random like Asian dad started asking, because like, I look young as shit. So I walk in there at, at the high limit table and they're like, what do you do for a living? Yeah. Because uh, uh, it's usually older men in there or whatever. So I, I made the mistake of being like, well, I do YouTube and. Which is normally fine, but then like the whole time I was playing blackjack, he was asking me like every question. On oh, his that's annoying. Yeah. So if it was a more social scenario where like we weren't like doing an activity in front of us, yeah, I would probably tell people what I do. But yeah. I think from now on, if somebody asks me while I'm trying to play blackjack what I do, I'll just be like, uh, uh, truck driver. <laughs> you know, something just <laughs> yeah. plain, more plain or whatever. I feel like with old people, I don't, I don't mind telling old people because they, <laughs> most of them are like you. Two, what, 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 nah. so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't mind telling old people. Well, usually then you'll the have old like the occasional question. younger person who's like, "Ooh, let me get on the channel," or like, "Yeah, you know, can I get a shot?" Yeah, I hate that. Yeah. That's that's one thing I've I've done that like meeting people at the club. I'll I'll bring it up and they'll, and they won't do it at first initially, but they'll get to the point where they're like, I can tell they they're trying to like pitch whatever they're doing at me, as if right. I'm as if I'm like a marketer or something. And right. I'm just like, 
yeah, I'm just no, I'm not. I'm a gaming YouTuber. Like I have this insane business idea. Yeah, it's like then why? All of a sudden you're like Shark Tank. Like hey, Shark Tank. Why are you here telling me then? Yeah. <laughs> Just met me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it depends Those on vibes the scenario. Are, those vibes are off. But yeah, I, old people, I'm, I'm I'm, always cool with telling old people. Most of the thing, they mostly just want to know, like, how I get paid. That's usually the first yeah, question. It's yeah, always, it's always like, how do you make money on the YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. I always just tell them it's like TV. It like, is. You know, it's when just... you watch TV and you see a commercial, it's like the same thing. It That's is. That's what I always say. Yeah, it's, yep. That's a good way to put it, yeah. Similar, similar thing. Yeah, it is. Similar. It is similar. fun to talk about. I feel like it's just a really good like, um, like a conversation. Like it starts. the I don't conversation. think it's conceited for you to be proud of what you do for a living. Yeah, you know, I will. The reason I said that is because like I was like, you know what, the best part about talking to other people is is talking Me. about my job. <laughs> how cool I am. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. dude, every everyone talks about themselves. Yeah, and you have a conversation. Well, for the everyone most part, everyone likes to talk about themselves. Yeah. Well, the thing yeah, is too is whenever anything wrong with that. Usually, when I approach like people to talk to, because I don't, I don't just go out and like just hit on women and that's it. Like I, I talk to guys. I try and like be friendly to everybody. And like right. I would say, at least eighty percent of the time, like after the initial like icebreaker, they ask, "Oh, what do you do for a living?" And then that's like how the conversation starts. I'm thinking about that guy at that bar that me and you went oh, to. Oh Leave me the fuck alone! Oh, oh my, my god. god, what was that guy's problem, dude? I don't know. I'm such a magnet for people that don't know how to fuck off. Oh god, it's insane. And the worst dude. part about it is breath smell like garbage. Oh, I know he yeah. would not. He just, dude. I'm like the Uber's here. I gotta leave, and he's like following me with his phone with his Facebook pulled up. Like you gotta go. You gotta go here. You got. Hey, wait. You gotta go here. Hold on. Yeah. One more thing. I'm like, dude. Oh my god. My, my, I'm here with my friends. <laughs> I, I'm getting to see for yeah. like two days. I <laughs> no at way. one point I I was sitting with uh I was sitting with him and you guys just him and you guys were like standing in a circle, and I I eventually told him I was like, hey, my they, these guys just came from fucking South Carolina and like I rarely ever get to see them and I want to go hang out with them so I'm gonna go hang out with them and. And then he yeah, was but like, when are oh. you ever going to see that guy again? Yeah. You should be hanging out with him. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, yeah, I just I want to go hang out with my friends that I can never. Yeah, and then when so. me and Ethan were playing pool with that woman, oh, and he yeah. just like comes over out of nowhere. I was just like, dude, like what the fuck is this guy's problem? <laughs> like the woman didn't even know him, and he's just like chatting this woman's ear off. And I was like, is this your husband? And she was like, I have oh, no this idea guy. who this is. <laughs> yeah, he was just like. It was like he was incredibly hammered, but also like autistic. Yeah, I yeah. don't know what what his problem was, but it's always me. It's always fucking me, dude. Yeah. I swear to God, <laughs> I don't know why these just, kind of people just want to come talk to me. Well, the thing is, like, it, it, it's just being really friendly. Like, somebody comes up to you, and you're you're always not gonna be like, "Fuck off, dude." You're gonna be friendly to them, and then people like that will attach to people that are friendly because they just want to, like, you know, they want to vibe or it's, whatever. And it's just like. It, it seems like teeth. some, it seems like some people just get approached more though. We were talking about this. The, yeah. the, 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 we were talking about this the other day, um, about how my brother has the same thing. People just approach him all the really? time, just random people. Yeah, for no reason. Doesn't really happen to me. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I don't really get that a lot. I'm not either. like hold, I'm not like brandishing a knife when I go out or something. I don't look yeah. threatening, but for some reason, people just are. They just approach. I'm going to start wearing a tinfoil hat and, like, mascara <laughs> when I go out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just, like, duct tape a bullfrog to your head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just go out like a complete psycho <laughs> so people leave me the fuck alone. Turn that to GoPro like you're recording everything through the yeah. lens of the frog's yeah. eyes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, go out with a GoPro and a bullfrog strapped to my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some, oh. people are, some people are wild. They're quirky. Quirky yeah. and random. Yeah. Mm. What is your shirt, by the way? Her chow? Uh, revocation. Oh. I've never heard that name before. What, what is the- revocation? They are a metal, I, I guess, like death metal band. I saw them live not too long ago, and I got the shirt. Cool band. Very nice, very nice. Very cool band. What is your shirt? This is the my band over there. This is like our first merch drop. What do they do? Um, they're fat. That's it. Dude, what's <laughs> your shirt? Is everyone fat? No, this is my band, White Power. <laughs> the White Stripes. Yes, yeah, one white stripe, big stripe. Yes. You know what's funny? Actually, um, uh, our band was all fat guys, and then uh, the drummer ended up like not 
he wanted he wanted to be a part of the band, but I think like because of his... you say he wanted to be fat, but he just couldn't put on weight. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was already fat. He just wasn't fat enough, so we kicked him out. <laughs> um, he was he like live too long. He, uh, what am I trying to say? Like he, um, I don't know. Like he wanted to be in the band. I, it's just because of his real job and like what he does, like mm. outside of music. Um, like our situation couldn't really work with him, so we ended up. Uh, our drummer now is uh Trevor, which is the drummer for Bro Job. Uh, you probably met him, Soup, the skinny guy, long yeah. hair, yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, he's like. You guys are like a, it's like a, a sister band now. You guys are like fifty fifty. It seems like <laughs> half Bro yeah. Job, half yeah. Which Paxton is just filling in though. He's not like yeah <laughs> in Bro Job, so yeah, yeah. But apparently he does a really good job, and people people really like having him. They like having him there. Oh, I bet his vocals are fucking crazy. Yeah, when I listen to his vocals, like compared to like some other, like bands that aren't like super huge, I'm like, man, Paxton actually really like in this in the span of like four years, because I think he's only been doing vocals for four, or maybe five years now. I'm like, he he really like did a good job of like going the right way with it, because some people some people will rush through shit like that. You know, I've I've seen like a Jared Dines video before where people were like, oh, I can do metal vocals, and then they just go ah, and like strain the fuck out of their voice. <laughs> Right. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I'm like, good job, Paxton. I mean, I wouldn't have brought him here if I didn't think he was fitted for the job. So, but yeah, yeah, he's crazy. I see his TikToks um, on my for you page all the time. Yeah, he. Yeah, since, I want to watch the music video. Yeah, we can do that after the, after the podcast. Right so. now, I want to watch it right now in the podcast. Oh. Right now, you sure? It's like nine minutes long. Yeah, I want to. I want to hear the fucking song. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know if I can stream the song. While I'm recording, though, that's a problem. No, I meant we could just end the podcast and go listen to it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah so let's, let's end this, bitch. I yeah, got to piss. Be. All right, outro time. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please be sure yes. to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you enjoy, go download on Spotify. Use code GOONS to get you some G subs. Get that game of gush flowing through your veins so you can game like a motherfucker. Goodbye. And use code GOONS to get some percentage off of your order of Gamer Supps. Yep. Thanks for watching. Merch coming Thanks soon. Merch coming soon. New, new flavor, merch Gamer. Merch coming soon. And new G Supps flavor. Lots happening. Please go download Lots on happening. Spotify. Boner. Thanks for watching. Boner. Goodbye. Yep.